is just the Bookmark Goddess, and I'm here to do a quick top five Wednesday for you guys. This week's topic is your top five favorite female characters. And for me, it was really hard because I have a bunch of female characters that I absolutely love. And for me, this kind of means the five characters that you would recommend to everybody, no matter what, if somebody came up to you and said, well, I like this type of genre, who, what book do you recommend? I will always go to, like, these type of characters. But in turn, it was really hard kind of narrowing them down to just five because... It was funny because I was downstairs, I was looking through my books, and I said, well, I originally picked one for the fifth spot that ended up being for the a different one ended up bumping the fifth spot out. And as most of you guys know, June from Legend is an amazing character, but this character just kept saying, no, pick me, pick me. So I had to. And that was... Um, Scarlet from A.G. Gowan. I think that's how you say her name. I always mess that up. I know I do. But Scarlet is fantastic. It is so good. And I love her. I think she's a fantastic character. Just full of spunk. I don't I You know, there's just so many um, different facets of her personality that make her amazing. And I totally love her. And I think this is such an underhyped series and people should really check her out because she deserves so much more love than what she gets so yes definitely scarlet from a um g gowan okay in my number four spot this was um just so easy so so easy i mean not necessarily the order but i knew she was going to be in my top five she's will always probably be in my top five because i read this book a long time ago i mean a few years back and ever since then, this character has stuck with me. And that is Drew Anderson from Lily St. Crow's um, Strange Angel series. And I loved her. She is just tough. She is amazing. She's kick butt. She just, there's so many things about her that make her amazing. She loses everything. I mean, absolutely everything. Her family, her the people, she, they're her friends. She's never really had a stable home life. She's been all over the world running and but yet she rallies and pulls herself together and does what's right and fights for what she believes in and she's not at first the best fighter but as time goes on and with training and th she just becomes this amazing person and I just love it and she cares so deeply for all of her friends and the people in her life and you see that throughout the books and it's just I, oh, she's just an amazing character. She's another one that people should check out because it's just the strength of this character just excites me every time I read her. And I, it is one of those series that I do reread whenever I need that, I don't know, that feeling of female empowerment and strength that she tends to give me. Okay, in the number three spot which this one was kind of hard just to kind of put who was in third and who was, you know, how I was going to rate these. And that was, this one is um, Alyssa from Crown of Thorns. And the reason why I picked Alyssa, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, you know, in the first book, she's not that inspiring, inspiring, excuse me. She's just every day. And that's what I liked about her. She's normal. She's a princess, but yes, but she doesn't feel as valued and she doesn't know her worth. And as the story goes on, she finds that worth and finds that strength and she overcomes her body images and she just becomes the person who she's meant to be. And that's why I like her so much. Her story is basically a hundred different girls story every day, everywhere, all over the place. Finding that inner strength, finding that inner, inner um, battling those inner demons and becoming the person that you're meant to be. Um, against all the odds and all the naysayers and everything that people put you down and make you feel bad, this girl embodies those people and makes the storyline just come alive for you. I love her. She will always, always have a spot in my top five. Okay, my second spot is a newer person. Um, I just read this recently. I really, really enjoyed it. So much fun. She is spunky, she is smart, she is tough, she doesn't take any crap, and she does not just lay there and say, okay, give me what you want to give me, I'll do what you want to do, I'm just going to follow you follow you along like a good little dog, and go ahead, this is, this is life, I accept it, 
No, she fights against it. She wants to be her own person. She wants the privileges that everyone else has and she's not going to take any less and she happens to be like a new favorite of mine. And that's Leah from The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. And oh my goodness, people, I loved her. I loved her from the beginning of the book to the end of the book. She is definitely one of my new favorites. I can't say enough about her. Definitely a plus in my book. Um, you know, she's not, she's not your everyday wimpy princess, that's for sure. Okay, last but not least, and that's behind me over here, and that would have to be what top five female characters would this be without Selena Sardothian? She is an, an assassin in a profession dominated by males, but she doesn't care. She doesn't think of herself like the wimpy girl. No, she's tough, she kicks butt, and she knows it. And, but she also isn't your typical assassin. She's not willing to do whatever it takes for money or whatever. She does, still has a code that she lives by and she wants to do what's right and be the person that she wants to be and not what everybody wants to make her. And that is why she is in my number one spot and probably will be until I read somebody that can beat her up. But that will probably be pretty hard. So anyways, guys. That was my top five. Um, I know I'm really pale right now. My hair's kind of crazy, but I've been really, really sick, and uh, life has just been kicking me in the butt. Um, I actually feel exhausted from this video. I'm probably going to go lay down and take a nap. So um, I will see you guys with the next video.